out of line. Let's fill the doubt for your freedom ring and patriotic voices sing. Red, white, and blue, never give up. You represent America! Open and praying for a brighter day. I listen to my heart and I obey. How can I see it any other way? I'm looking at life, life. with my own eyes. Here are some exciting scenes from today's episode of Liberty's Kids. It's ordinary soldiers who are making great sacrifices. They've only got five musket balls apiece and almost no powder. Our men will have to make every shot count. We are better armed and better trained. We will take both of those hills, Sergeant. Whatever it takes, whatever it costs. Hold your fire until you see the whites of their eyes! Foolish Americans, don't they understand what will happen to them? The rebels are building fortifications. They're going to force my hand. What are your orders, General Howe? We're going to have to blast them off those hills. I had hoped they'd come to their senses and spare themselves. You can see all of Boston Harbor from here. The Redcoats won't let us stay here without a fight. The men have worked all night, General Putnam. If the Lobsterbacks try and take Breed's Hill, we'll make them pay a heavy price. If the men are brave and don't panic, I'd have more confidence if we had stores of ammunition. Colonel Prescott, every shot will have to find its mark. 17 June, 1775. Dearest Mother, I am in a place called Bunker Hill, near the city of Boston. <gasps> I'm glad you cannot hear the terrible sounds. The awful battles of Lexington and Concord are the cause of all this trouble. The colonists seem determined to drive our troops away from Boston. But there's a spark of good news. There's a British officer who might have some knowledge of Father's whereabouts. Oh, I'm hoping to find him and learn what I can. <gasps> Please do not worry about me, Mother. I am out of harm's way. I am worried about James and Henri. They've gone to interview the rebel militia for Dr. Franklin's Gazette. <coughs> Still, I can't imagine even they would be reckless enough to get caught up in this. If nothing else, maybe this day will bring us news of Father. I promise to tell. What have we here? <gasps> Could we have thought ourselves a rebel spy? Sergeant Wellwright? It is I, Sarah Phillips. I'm a guest at the Essex House. Yes, of course, Miss Phillips. But this is no place for a British subject. These hills are crawling with rebels. I am still looking for Lieutenant Hampton. Ah, yes. The man who served under your father. But it's too dangerous for you to stay here. I'll send Hampton around after we put those rebels in their place. But I... I'll hear no more of this, young lady. I insist. Corporal, escort Miss Phillips home. This will allow you to pass through all checkpoints and rejoin us in battle. Is there ever a time you're not hungry? Only when I'm eating. You expect me to take orders from you? Who made you king? Colonel Prescott. That's who. I don't serve under Colonel Prescott. I'm with Captain Parker. Whoa! One more like that, I'll resort to fisticuffs. These men are going to fight the British? Looks to me like they'll be fighting each other. They're nervous and angry. Look, Henri, here we are at the fence at Bunker Hill. About 500 yards away is the fort at Breed's Hill. Here you can see in where the British are. Now come on, we've got to find Dr. Warren and stay away from any fighting. Who is this Dr. Warren we're looking for? An old friend of Dr. Franklin's, one of the leaders of the Massachusetts Sons of Liberty. He'll help us get our story. How will we recognize him? Sarah and I met him during Paul Revere's ride. 
He's a wonderful man. You're going to love him. And with you around, I'll be needing a doctor. So, Corporal, what's your opinion of the rebels? I have no opinion, ma'am. It's not my place. I just do my duty. Tell me, why are you looking for Lieutenant Hampton? My father is in the Ohio wilderness, and we've not heard from him. I'm told the lieutenant may have seen him. Corporal, won't you please help me find this man who could lead me to my father? Afraid not, Miss Phillips. Orders and all. Oh! Corporal, my locket fell off. Very well. There. There you are, miss. Forgive me, Corporal, but I must find my father. Yeah! Wait! Miss Phillips! Come back! Dr. Warren! James! You must leave, son. The British will arrive shortly. Leave? But the people need to understand what's happening here. You're right, of course. I admire your courage. Gentlemen, James writes for the Pennsylvania Gazette. He wrote those wonderful stories on Paul Revere's ride and the heroic events at Concord and Lexington. Very well, good. Good boy. Good boy. Is this young man a journalist too? Henri's only interested in finding the best pastry shops. Well, come along. I'm looking for General Putnam and Colonel Prescott, but Henri must go to Cambridge, away from danger. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. State your business. I'm on a special mission involving a British soldier. And exactly what mission would you be performing? This says permit bearer to pass, and that is the seal of Sergeant Wellwright. Do you recognize it? Good. Then tell me your name, soldier, so Sergeant Wellwright will know whom to have court-martialed. Very well. I am seeking a Lieutenant Hampton. Do you know him? He's leading one of the companies that will take Bunker Hill. Yeah! <laughs> Phew. I wish James could have seen that. And thank goodness Mother didn't. This is mad. That's it. Come on, Stockton. We're through here. You men there, return to your positions. Sorry, General Putnam, but we haven't had sleep or food. You're not paying us enough for this. We're not paying you anything. <gasps> The only payment I can offer you is freedom from the tyranny of the British Parliament. Praise be! If Dr. Warren is joining the fight, then I'm staying! Good, we need you. Dr. Warren, you couldn't have come at a better time to assume command. I wouldn't dream of assuming command from such an experienced soldier as you. I wish only to serve where I can be most useful. That, sir, would be where the Redcoats are going to attack first. Reed's Hill. There you can assume command from Colonel Prescott. General Putnam, I wish no command here. I would consider it a privilege to fight under Colonel Prescott. Need another volunteer to go fight on the hill with Dr. Warren? Thank you, soldier. But Dr. Warren, why would you risk your life as an, well, an ordinary soldier? It's ordinary soldiers who are making great sacrifices. I would be honored to stand alongside these men. Anyone can speak about his beliefs, but it's soldiers who shed their blood to make those beliefs a reality. Could you slow down? I need to write. Sorry, lad, no time. But remember, it is your duty to tell the world that we are willing to die for our freedom. You can count on me, Dr. Warren. Good man. Now it's time for Henri to go to Cambridge. Yes, sir! Run, go! Run, go! Come on! Ready, men! <laughs> Beginning! March! James, stay back here by the fence and away from Breed's Hill. Be careful, Dr. Warren, please.
Why don't they shoot? The British are almost on top of them! They've only got five musket balls apiece, and almost no powder. Our men will have to make every shot count. Steady, men! Hold your fire until you see the whites of their eyes! I was trained to save lives, not take them. If you can't fight, we would understand. No one would think you a coward. I abhor fighting, but believe in the cause of liberty. But for freedom, we must fight. So I shall. I hate them, Redcoats. Try not to let it be about hatred, soldier. There are times when a man has to stand up for his rights, but he never has to hate. Ready? They've retreated! I am most displeased. Those ragtags turned us back. Many casualties. Shh. Henri, it is I. The reinforcements have arrived, sir more than they can imagine. We are better armed and better trained. We will take both of those hills, Sergeant. Whatever it takes, whatever it costs. Did you find the man who knew your father? He's with the British attacking the hill. Where's James? Up there, near the fighting. You heard what he just said? James has to get out of there. Can you find him? Certainement. Have your men seal off this side of the hill so the rebels cannot get reinforcements of their own? Yes, sir. Here, you may need this. It's a pass you can use to talk your way through any checkpoint. Won't you need it to find the man you're looking for? Don't worry about that. Just go. I'm sorry, Father, but I think this is what you would have wanted me to do. Okay, I'm supposed to be a newspaper writer. So write. B -b 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 Bunker Hill, J J June 17th. Today, a small, under-equipped band of colonist volunteers defeated the best the British. James! James! What are you doing here? Sarah sent me to warn you. You've got to get out of here. The British are sending more soldiers. Lots more! Oh, no. No! They're attacking a second time! Come on, let's get out of here! No, wait! They brought up artillery. And more reinforcements. I need volunteers to accompany me to the aid of Colonel Prescott on Breed's Hill. That would be folly, sir. Our men will be out of powder and gunshot before we could reach them. You're right, of course. But Dr. Warren is over there. I'm sorry, son. He's right. There's nothing to be done. We've got to retreat and save the men we can. Dr. Warren and Prescott will hold out and cover us. Steady, men! Regroup! 
regroup. We hold our fire to a little close. Make the most of your ammunition. Then we'll fall back. Empty! Ah! Sons of Liberty, Massachusetts, man. Henri, make sure Sarah gets to safety. Where are you going? To find Dr. Warren. James, come back, son. Colonel Prescott! We lost the hill, James. Ran out of ammunition. One more volley and we'd have stopped him cold. Have you seen Dr. Warren? It was chaos up there. Last I saw him, he was covering our retreat. Best you come along with us to the Charlestown Neck. You might find him there. They're retreating. The hill is ours. General Gage will want to report. Tell him it was a dear-bought victory. Another such will ruin us. General, a mission to check on the wounded. Granted. I'll join you. <laughs> Dr. Warren? Has anyone seen Dr. Warren? He was behind me. Back there. Thanks. <laughs> Nearly half our men dead or wounded. It's a disaster. We might as well have lost the hill. We won the hill, Sergeant. You'd best remember that. It's just a hill, sir. Lieutenant Hampton? Lieutenant Hampton! <laughs> Corporal? You can stop looking for my brother. He was killed. Your brother? Lieutenant Hampton was my brother. But you never told me. You didn't give me a chance. I'm sorry, Miss Phillips, but there will be no help finding your father today. I'm sorry about your brother, Corporal. Thank you, Miss Phillips. <sighs> Dr. Warren! Dr. Warren! Dr. Warren? Sorry, I thought you were Dr. Warren. Dr. Warren saved my life. He saved many lives covering our retreat. He was the bravest thing i ever seen. I tried to get his body, but... Body? I'm sorry, son. Dr. Warren? Gone? But... But how can that be? He was such a good man. We lost many a good man today. Then what I will write is that the price of freedom is not cheap. James, are you all right? I'm fine, but Dr. Warren's dead. Oh no. I'm so sorry, James. I know how much you admired him. And I've got to write that the colonists lost their first real battle with the British. That will weaken our cause, the very cause for which Dr. Warren gave his life. Maybe the story is not what you think it is. What do you mean? What happened at Bunker Hill is in the eye of the beholder. We, uh, the British, sustained hundreds of casualties. Really? I was in that camp. They may have taken Bunker Hill, but they feel like they lost. This was a blow. You were in their camp? Looking for the man who knew your father? And? Killed. I'm sorry, Sarah. Did Henri find you? Of course I did. James, who won the battle? I don't know that anyone did. But our job is to report. So let's get back to Philadelphia. What's the matter, Henri? I've never seen you throw away food. After all this, I'm suddenly not so hungry. Quite a story, you two. Dr. Warren was quite a man. He sacrificed so much to help others live. A lot of people made sacrifices at Bunker Hill. 
You can tell Dr. Franklin I'm ready to print. What in blazes could be jamming the works this time? Pastry? Why are you looking at me? Dr. Franklin, Moses is ready when you approve our story. Now let's see. Hmm, the colonists suffered heavy casualties, but withstood the best the British had to offer, defeated only by a lack of powder. There's only one thing I should like to add. By standing together, the colonial militias proved they have the will to take on the powerful British Army. The name Bunker Hill will be remembered in history as the event that turned a Massachusetts rebellion into America's revolution. The king has lost his colonies. Dearest mother, though I am well, my heart is heavy. I regret that my long journey to Boston yielded no word of father. Sadly, the fighting at Bunker Hill resulted in the death of Lieutenant Hampton. Many others died as well. And along with them, I fear any hope of peace also died at Bunker Hill. We must accept that you and I will not be together soon. This will be a long and costly uprising. I remain your loving daughter, Sarah.